Hi, welcome to the HomeKit Show. This week, we're going to talk about Nucky and its new products that it's announced this week, along with Need2 and its robot vacuums that work with serious shortcuts, LG's U-turn on releasing HomeKit support for its 2018 TV, and Miros, the garage door opener, which has now become available on Amazon. So continue watching this video to find out all about the latest HomeKit news for this week. Welcome back, my name's John. And if you're new around here, this channel is dedicated to everything HomeKit. So if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to find out when the new videos come out. Also, don't forget to check out our social media channels, especially Twitter, where we're constantly tweeting things about HomeKit to keep you updated. Again, the links are in the description below. Now, before we get started, this is a special shout out for Mr. Judge, who is the editor of Screen Times. He is also the host of the Magic Rays of Light podcast, which is all about Apple TV and things centered around that. But more importantly, it's his birthday today. Go over to his Twitter account, which is in the description below, and wish him an happy birthday, along with check out his podcast and his website. Again, the links are in the description below. Happy birthday, mate. So first up is LG. Back at the start of this year, before all the chaos happened, LG announced they were going to be supporting HomeKit and AirPlay 2 for its TVs, but they did say anything 2018 backwards would not be supported. Following that, a petition was set up on Change.org and this attracted thousands of signatures. Now around about April time of this year, it looked like that that had had some effect because LG updated their support pages and entered that 2018 support with HomeKit and AirPlay 2 would be coming. Now recently, they've changed their support pages which have taken any reference away. And last week, LG UK Twitter account tweeted that HomeKit and AirPlay support would not be coming to 2018 TVs. And now it appears a U-turn has been made with the same Twitter account, LG UK, tweeting out that HomeKit support would indeed be coming by the end of this year, but they didn't give a time frame. So this is good news for LG 2018 users who have spent hard-earned cash buying the TVs and they'll get HomeKit and AirPlay 2 support later this year. Now next up is Nito Robotics as announced several new products to its lineup, the D8, the D9, and D10. While these models do not offer HomeKit support, they support Siri shortcuts like with previous models. Now, I've been an owner of the D5 for over two years, and whilst it's an expensive purchase, I've not regretted it. We set the D5 to work on a schedule every day, and it cleans the floors, and I like the fact the company continues to update its existing product line. And last year, they introduced the virtual no-go lines, which effectively allows you to set up no-go areas, and we use this around the dog bowls or under a cabinet where it sometimes gets stuck. As I've already mentioned, they do not support HomeKit, but this is because Apple's smart home platform does not support vacuum cleaners there. However, they do work with Siri shortcuts, and this gives you the ability to control the robot with a quick press of a button or a voice command. Now, Need2 are launching the D8, the D9, and the D10, with the D8, which offers a 90-minute runtime and includes an extra wide brush with a larger dirt bin compared to previous models. The D9 offers a little bit better performance in runtime with 120 minutes and a better filter, which captures 99.5% of dust and allergens. Then the top of the line, D10, extends that runtime to 150 minutes. It also features the true EPA filter and captures 99.7 of allergens and as small as 0.3 microns. Now the models are due to be shipped later in the fall in North America, Europe and Japan. Pricing has not yet been announced yet. Don't forget to look out for that because these are certainly good robots that work with Siri Shortcut. Now next up is Nucky and some of its new products which it previewed this week. Now last week they were doing some teaser promotions saying that new products were coming and they sent a press invite out to view these the day before and we got an invite. So Nucky has announced a special white edition of its Nuki 2.0 smart lock. In addition, they've also announced the power pack and this will work with the company's existing smart lock. So the white Nuki smart lock does not differ in terms of functionality found in the already available black model although it will ship with the newly announced Nuki Power Pack as part of the package. Now this lock already supports HomeKit and it fits Euro style locks and it fits on the inside as it does with most of these types of locks and it doesn't affect your existing door lock. 
So that's a real bonus. Limited white edition will be available exclusively from its web store starting in October, and it'll be while stocks last. Now, I think if this will be popular, it will continue as a color in its product range. Next up is the Nuki Power Pack. The new power solution from Nuki replaces the AA batteries previously required to power the Nuki Smart Lock. The Nuki Power Pack will be available for the Nuki 1.0 and the 2.0 Smart Locks. Now, previously, the power with the AA batteries was around about six months but Nuki is claiming that power pack will last up to 12 months on a single charge if it drops below 20 percent leds will start to flash on the device itself along with an alert in the Nuki app charging is also provided by usb-c for me this is an interesting product not only is it going to be able to save on having to replace the batteries it's going to be able to give you notifications as i've already mentioned but also give you a longer runtime if it runs to up to 12 months as Nuki is claiming. So this will certainly make a having a smart lock more convenient. It will start shipping from October and it will be available for 49 euros via its own web store and Amazon. Next up is Miros and its garage door opener which will support OwnKit. Previously mentioned on this show and the website we released exclusively the pricing and it's now available as per our timeline of September in the US. Now it's $49.99 but there's a special discount code in the description below which will give you a discount and it's currently fluctuating between $5 and $10 depending on the day that you try. Now I've recently reviewed a number of Miros's products. The Smart Indoor Plug which I found a very good stable product given its price point of around £16 works with HomeKit and it performs really well and I'm still using it now. Also reviewed the Smart Outdoor Plug is in the main pretty good. I wouldn't recommend it for all year outdoor use. However, I've been using it in my garage to power my floodlight and it's working really well within HomeKit and you know, I can't really complain for the price point. It's about £29 when it's on offer, which is a lot cheaper than its competition. So Miros seemed to be on a roll with releasing HomeKit support to its products. They're also going to be releasing later this year a power strip into the UK market and European market that will support HomeKit. Also planning to release a number of other products which are still yet to be announced. This is really good to see a company that building quality products at affordable prices similar to Akara and that will challenge the other brands. Now this device fits your existing garage door opener and it requires just a very simple installation similar to the iSmartGate which I reviewed at the start of this year. Whilst each garage door opener will require a different installation, it's roughly wiring a couple of wires into the existing opener and also connecting it to power. And now connectivity is provided by Wi-Fi on 2.4 gigahertz. And then you fit a sensor to your garage door, which then enables it to understand whether the garage door is open or closed. Now this sensor is wired, unlike the iSmartGate, which comes with a wireless version. Now I think it's all down to personal preference, which one you would like, but I certainly found with the iSmartGate gate the batteries last in between six and nine months and i have to replace it whereas with a wired version then it is simply wired and it works and you just forget it as already mentioned it's available for 49.99 on the amazon us store and there's a discount code if you follow the link in the description below and when i spoke to miros they did say it's coming to the uk and europe towards the end of september it may creep into october and it's going to be available at a very competitive price and it's gonna be certainly an interesting product when I get my hands on to test this and see how it performs against the iSmartGate. So guys, that's the end of this week's HomeKit show. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you've got any questions or any comments, then leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you've liked this week's show, don't forget to give me a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated and helps other people find these videos. And also don't forget to go over to Mr. Judge's Twitter account and wish him an happy birthday and also check out his podcast. And also don't forget to follow us on Follow HomeKit on our social media channels, particularly Twitter. We put out a lot of information about HomeKit and also check out our website, homekitauthority.com where I release news, reviews, and tutorials about everything HomeKit. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.